The evacuation plan of at least 640 Nigerians was met with resistance and arrest of some of the volunteer, uh, voluntary returnees, forcing the first airlift to be delayed by 10 long hours. Now, sources in South Africa explained that Nigeria's commission in that country had prepared the first 317 Nigerians for evacuation. The South African immigration then started causing problems by arresting Nigerians who were due to travel. They were demanding for papers and accusing them of traveling without the right documents. Some of the proposed returnees initially, underline that word, initially lacked valid travel documents, which forced the evacuation to be delayed till this week. Now, while the commission prepared valid papers for them, the South African authorities said there were going to be principalities of sorts. But if these people were found wanting, do you think that the South African authorities were in their right to do what they did? Absolutely. I think they're in their right because... Um, so that's why I'm, I'm a little bit taken aback when I see things like, oh, they're causing trouble, they're causing problems. I, I, I did not really think that that's what's going on here. Look, if people were about to travel, there's a need for them to have proper documents because it poses security threats to their nation. If they cannot, I mean, if you know somebody is traveling, living in your country, and you know, first and foremost, you're wondering how does the person get here? How do we avoid such loopholes? You know, how does this person get to that? He doesn't have valid papers or what, or has it expired, what have you? So you know, there's po there's a need for proper documents. If they are leaving, there's a need for them to be properly, you know, stamped out. Mm. That's the standard practice. You cannot just come in and out and expect that you know people are like it's not possible. So, so I I I mean, you know, even within the free movement areas of Africa, you still have to show some form of documentation. Right. Absolutely, absolutely. You need to at least your identity to show where you're coming from. You know, so I think that it's important. It's 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 important for them as a nation for proper documentation. Um, I beg to say that they are not like us. You know, you know, it's important. Wow. Yes, it's the truth. I mean, because when you don't put your home in order. What do you mean they're not like us? <laughs> I mean, we're paying reciprocity fees right now because Nigeria is doing the same thing to some, several other nationals, right? Oh, well, 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 well I, but the truth so it's is, not uh, like Nigeria is a free space you can come into. Uh, well, well, I absolutely hope so, but, but, but me and you know that, you know, in Nigeria, you know, if you, you just need to do the right thing and then, you know, you, you read the word, you know, act normal, you know, just act normal and then, so some things are allowed to, to go. So, so for, for, I am just merely saying that for the purpose of, for security reasons, for proper, proper, proper documentation, things, they cannot just say, oh, because we wanted you guys out and now you're going out, just come and body play and go, no, they need to, I mean, if you have done something that is wrong, how do they even recognize you? How can they even pin you down? You know, how can they, if, if you are somebody that, you're not the kind of person that they want to return to their country. If, if there's no paper to properly document your stamp you out, how would they be able to say deny you visa, mm. you, know, for, you know, for the rest of your life or something? You, so all those things, there are, there are issues that that's around them. They won't just allow you to come in and go with that because they want you out. Well, Deepo, uh, if you are deporting a person, do you have to go through that? I mean, I'm not saying that they were being deported, but if you were in a case of deportation, would this have mattered? As a matter of fact, I'm a very happy person this evening. <laughs> Wait. I have listened to many television stations, radio, and even uh, newspaper. I've read a lot. This is the first time I've seen people that have, have looked this, to look at this issue dispassionately. Like the barrister said, you are leaving my country. I look at your paper. I didn't see anywhere I allowed you to come in. Hmm. And do you think South Africa is like Nigeria? <laughs> I will just take things for granted. Wow. Let us be sincere with ourselves. I should be able to know how did you come in. I didn't authorize you to come into my country. You are leaving. I was in South Africa. We just allowed that to pass. Let me tell you one thing. Different countries with their different policies. In 2017, when we went to Israel on a holy pilgrimage, as we were getting to the airport after checking our papers, they withdrew our passports from us. Mm. Yes, in 2017, December. It was on the day we were leaving that the passports were returned to us. That's their country. That is what they want. So somebody is leaving my country. I look at my record, I didn't see when you came in. And you think I would not want to know how did you how you came in. Uh, uh, come on, this is, a, this is a country. Because for so many reasons, I should be able to say, how did you come into my country? Mm. If, you are come, if you are coming to my country, some of them lived there for seven years. Some of them lived for five years. I wasn't even aware you were in my country. 
and you want South Africa to just allow them to go like that.